Parents, I guess you know, they all count the same, the wins and the losses, but the, the way you guys are able to kind of battle back and win this, uh, what do you take away from it? Uh, you know, it's just going to help us down the stretch, you know, and keep collecting, I guess, close games on our belt for when, you know, we're in March and we're playing those games just like that, but on a bigger stage. The, the defense is, is still to a level where coach is not happy with it, but the fact that you guys are able to make the plays when it matters most, uh, what does that say about this team? Right that now? just shows how much toughness we have. Uh, you know, we're real tough. and. You know, just because the team comes back and goes up on us, we're not just going to quit on it. Right. It was a game of runs. So offensively, what were you guys, what was working for you? Was it the defense that was leading to the offense for you guys? Yeah, I think, you know, we got away from that in the second half, and we, we, we led with our offense and was just moving a little bit slower. But, you know, once we lead with our defense, good things happen. And Trent, I mean, well, I guess this is just kind of what Trent does, right? Yeah, I mean, that's just what he's been doing for us, and we're just going to keep going to it when it's time. Um, we keep talking about the home crowd so much in your guys' record. And I don't, is it like hokey that we keep talking about the home crowd, or is it a difference to make it? You said the home crowd? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's good to have everybody there and, you know, keep coming out, keep supporting us, filling the stands, student section. It's good. Would you say this team feels like it's in a comfort zone when they're down? I don't want to – you don't ideally want to be in that zone. Yeah, you guys. Um, I mean, we just played a lot of games like that, so – you know, we, it's good to have experienced players out there who's been in a lot of games like that because you know what to do in times like that. What are, what are the huddles like? I mean, you're going into the under four media timeout. You're down, I think, seven or eight. Do you sense? Do you see a sense of calmness? Are you guys reassuring uh, each other? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're not in panic mode because that's just not who we are. So, you know, we're just talking it out, uh, and we just keep fighting. And that's just what we do. The coach is still trying to find the rotations that he wants. I mean, Raekwon was the kind of guy out there with you guys towards the end of the game. What's he mean to you guys right now? Uh, you know, he's a guard, and he helps us, you know, on the defensive end to be able to switch everything. Uh, you know, when teams go small also. And, you know, he's a great, you know, s screen setter. Um, and he could pop and shoot the three also. So we just use him out there to, you know, get the ball moving and get a lot of different looks. Coach, you talked about kind of wanting to see more of the offensive identity and y'all kind of finding your offensive identity. In that first half tonight, do you really think that was kind of y'all kind of operating at peak pace? Yeah, I think so. Uh, definitely. We got, kind of got away, with, uh, got away from that in the second half because, uh, you know, we didn't let our defense turn into our offense. So. We just had to get stops, and when we get stops, we kind of get going on offense, too. When Purdue was having their success, it seemed like they were getting the ball up high, a lot of high ball screens and cut action and pop <coughs> line. Um, yeah. What did you guys do to counteract that and, and be able to start taking that away a little bit? Um, when come back? Yeah, it, it was nothing different that they were doing in the first half. I think just the fact that they were hitting a, a lot of dagger threes kind of spread, spread us out a little bit more. Um, and just we just stuck with being tough and trying to get stop after stop, and that's what we did. Coach said you guys have a call named Seminole whenever there's there's a tie-up and you guys don't want to go for the foul, you just want to get all the yeah. ball. I mean, what was going through your mind when the uh, uh, I knew that we were just going to try and go for the ball first. Um, you know, and I seen he exposed it, and I kind of knew what the ref was going to call when he blew the whistle. Were you surprised he exposed it like that? Uh, no, nah, I mean, he he got double teamed, so there's not much he could really do besides turn his back um, and, <coughs> you know, try to cuff the ball like that, but... Terrence, I apologize if you've already been asked, but just as back and forth as some of these games that you've played over the last week have been, and the mm -hmm. fact that you're still 6-1, and one, what does it say about this basketball team? It just shows that we got a lot of toughness. I mean, you know, we're very disciplined. we got a lot of toughness, and, you know, racking these games up now will probably help us down the stretch also. Hey, Terrence.